Merry Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. And you know, a lot of us cannot be with our family and friends. Hopefully we can do that virtually. What I thought I would do is not create a long episode tonight, but you know, every artist has recorded Christmas music and most of it is ghastly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick five Christmas songs for Christmas Eve that I like and three that are kind of questionable. So Merry Christmas and let's drop that needle. Let's start off with one of the best non-traditional Christmas songs ever released. John and Yoko own the airwaves with Merry Christmas, War is Over. Isn't it ironic that after all those years, these lyrics still ring true? The war may be different, but if we all sing it loud enough, war is over if we want it. Now, this man wrote one of the best songs of all time. And if you don't believe me, ask Paul McCartney. Yes, I'm talking about Brian Wilson, and the song is God Only Knows, but that's not a Christmas record. So in 2005, Brian released his Christmas record, which is called What I Really Want for Christmas. And this is great. Listen to Oh Holy Night. It will give you goosebumps. No question, Santa is the boss of Christmas, but the boss all year round is Bruce Springsteen. And in 1982, he released a great Santa Claus is Coming to Town on an obscure Sesame Street album called In Harmony 2. But then it was in 1985 when he put Santa Claus is Coming to Town on the B-side of My Hometown from Born to Run that this song took off. And yeah, Clarence Clemens steps in for Good Saint Nick. This song rocks. In 1992, the late great Tom Petty released It's Christmas All Over Again as part of a compilation album for the Special Olympics called A Very Special Christmas 2. When you listen to the song, you can't help but smile. Another great Christmas song that my daughter Erin just turned me on to this year was released in 2008 by an a cappella group called Straight No Chaser. They do an incredible job with the 12 Days of Christmas. Listen to how they give homage to the song and then tear it apart and even invite Toto in to come sing about being down in Africa. It's hilarious. And now for the ringers. In 1971, a single was released called Jingle Bells by the Singing Dogs. Yep, it's dogs barking out jingle bells. And once you hear it, you can't forget it. And then in 1979, Elmo and Patsy Trigg Shopspear released Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. And I can guarantee you, your grandma isn't really going to like this song. And last but not least, it pains me to say this about one of my rock and roll heroes. Yeah, Sir Paul, I'm talking to you. In 1979, he released the sugary, wonderful Christmas time. Yeah, there I've said the title, and I can guarantee you're humming it right now. So there you have it. Five songs that I really like, three not so good, but you know what? It's Christmas Eve, so pick your own songs to listen to. And in the comments below, let me know which Christmas songs you like and which you don't. And as Tiny Tim says, God bless us, everyone. And as I say, keep a rockin'. Oh yeah, and Merry Christmas. If you liked this episode, hit the like button. And you can also leave me a comment down below, and I'll respond to you. If you subscribe, We'll let you know when future episodes come out. Most of the albums that I talk about can be found at your local vinyl store or on eBay. Individual songs most likely are on Spotify, Apple Music, or Amazon Music, or even some on YouTube.